First choose the circle tool and draw yourself a circle. Now go for the point tool here and let's put a point on that circumference and that point we shall move around the circle. To do that I can go to edit, action buttons and animation and it gives us a choice of going counterclockwise here at medium speed, choose OK, we now have an action button here so we press that and the point moves anti-clockwise around the circle. Right, next I'm going to draw a line, so I've got the line tool from the center and just click and stretch a line and now I'm going to choose that point and the line and construct a parallel line to the line I've just drawn. I'm going to put a point on the original line I drew. I'm going to now select that point as well as the line it's on and construct a perpendicular line. And now if I choose the intersection of those two lines at this point, I create a point of intersection. That point there is the point I'm going to trace. So if I go to display and then trace intersection. And if I now press uh, animate, the point will go around the circle. But the animation at this point is just a, a vertical line. We've got the up and down motion. So I need to push that sideways. To hide the traces, right click and erase traces. Now I need to move this point I created on this line back and forth so I'm going to click on that point and we've got animate point and we can see now it's moving left and right. So now my trace is actually going horizontal. If I now click this button here I've got the circular motion as well as the horizontal motion and we get our transverse wave. Alright, so we'll stop the motion there and we can do this in other ways. Let me get rid of those traces. So right click again, erase traces. And I don't like that control box there, so I'm going to right click or just choose that point and then go edit, animate, and we've got bi-directional here. We have options for forward, backward, but we'll stick with bi-directional. Click OK. Now we have two animation buttons here. One will be for the uh, circular motion and then one's for the horizontal. Now we can change the, uh, the, the curve and the way it appears by extending that line there and we'll see here we now get more of a complete wave. So by adjusting that horizontal length we can adjust the appearance of the transverse wave. Alright, let's look at uh, having a bit neater with one animation button. So what you do is you choose both points you're going to animate, so the point that goes around the circle and the point that's going back and forth along that line. And then from there, with both selected, we go to Edit, Action Buttons, Animation, and we can see both the options are here. So we've got our counterclockwise and our bi-directional motion there. Click OK. We now have one button. So click on that. And it's a little bit neater than previously.